McGannis Arena, the Jack Parker rink. It's Saturday night. It's hockey night on McGannis Way. Welcome on ESPN Plus. Bernie Corbett, Mark Linehan, as the Terriers get ready for the back end of their hockey's weekend series with the UMass Lowell Riverhawks. In fact, yes. The Hawks win the faceoff. Looking to set it up. Johnson walks it and shovels it to the far circle. Shot in. Save Comesso. He'll smother it. He gets it back now. High Gallagher. Fensori walks down. Fensori with oh. a wrister and he rang the iron. O'Brien battling for the loose puck. puck. Loose. He was on top of Grangles with uh, help there. Yeah, O'Brien's in the net. The puck isn't. Yeah, now the Riverhawks on the jump. Krasa up ahead for Cole. Cole stops, deals it back. Krasa unmarked there for a moment. He's able to wind it, trying to cycle around for a shot attempt in front of the goal. Chambers threw it to the net. Krasa was there to clean it up. Tuck trying to maneuver deep against Korenchik. He centers one. O'Brien with a shot save. Rebound O'Brien gets it back. Gallagher with a backhand. And that one just spun wide. Right idea. Well, well, how'd the play start, Bernie? <laughs> it's a load high. There you go. There you go. Phillips. There is one. O'Brien, oh, oh. glove saved by Grangles. Wow. Oh, is he just flat out rough, Jay O'Brien. For his brother, Hudson to Hudson. Hudson in close quarters at the line, beats his man, shifts. For oh. Center goal! Lane Hudson snaps one home from 55 feet to tie it with 2.09 left. Well, I've been saying it all night. Lane Hudson's playing point guard tonight, and he is just absolutely breaking ankles on people defending him there. Holds the puck for the extra second, waits for the extra attacker to get on the ice, gets it to the grade A in the middle, lets one rip and ties it up, and the Terriers get a power play to end this game. Wilmer, McCarthy, Wilmer in front, denied. Power play ends, Green. Five seconds. Back to the point, McCarthy in oh. the goal! Case McCarthy blasted home center point. Yeah, I think this it was, is a. Yeah, you know, I, I think it was just a matter of Lowell challenging it because why this not? This is a roll of the dice here with 5.8 seconds left. I mean, unless we get a stimmy on the goalie. The goalie was out beyond the paint. He's extended beyond the paint. It couldn't be interference. His body is outside the crease. Yeah, and it's nothing really major contact. No, it's just kind of not at all up against him. Call it a goal. Let's call him. Plus, he's got a Lowell defenseman in his face too. So. 5.8 seconds remaining, oh. and they're gonna they're gonna wave it off. It to O'Brien. O'Brien now looking to beat Kaiser down the far wall. He does good jump in a step. O'Brien now tried to wrap around and rolled off his stick. O'Brien now in a high roll turned it over, and now right back the other way comes Kaiser. Kaiser is alone with Camesso. Saved by Camesso. Crasser right side. Crasser forced. And now here comes Lane Hudson the other way. Left side's good company. He's got Green. Hudson holds in front of the goal. Lane Hudson delivers the Terriers in overtime. Big, big win for the home team. Yeah, you know, we, we find a way to bounce back. I, I thought tonight, the start again, the first seven minutes of the game, I think we were out shooting seven nothing, and then we just decided to change the way we were going to play, and we started turning pucks over, and uh, weren't weren't getting pucks behind them. We were playing into the way they like to play, and you know they took it to us for a little bit. Uh, it took us a while to get our game going. I thought we came out in the third uh, and played the right way the whole period. And it took us a while, but it, it ended up paying off. Um, it looked like we won it in regulation. We didn't. It got taken back, but we stuck with it, and we found a way to win in uh, overtime. It was huge for us. Yeah, it, we definitely were a little excited about it, especially after we saw the replay. But um, you know, we just had to calm down and be ready, and we still, you know, obviously wanted to get the two, uh, two extra point, and we did. I, that's looking too far ahead. I think we're happy with the result tonight. Um, you know, we'll, we'll work uh, next week. We don't have a game the following weekend, so it's a good, good opportunity us uh, to work on some things that we need to get better at. And, and the following week, then we'll start preparing for UMass. We have plenty of time before our next game. I think he looked great. Um, he played excellent all night. He made a huge save for save uh, on a breakaway there in overtime to save the game for us. So he was excellent tonight. And huge game from Lane, obviously, but the freshman line also looked like they were clicking a little more than past games. What did you see from that whole time? Yeah, I thought they had their best game overall. Um, they were great in their own end. Uh, most of the night they played in the offensive zone. They were making plays. Um, they were really good tonight. I thought they were their, our best line.
Yeah, he's obviously a little bit snake bitten right now, um, but he's he's playing the right way. Uh, he's playing a good 200 foot hockey game as a centerman, and that, that's what we ask of him. He, he'll find the back of the net for him. It's it's not going in for him right now. He's getting the chances, so that that's important that he's getting his chances offensively. It's just not going in the net right now. Uh, absolutely. I, I thought tonight in the second period, we passed up way too many chances to shoot the puck. Uh, that was the message uh, going into the third that we had to get more pucks to the net. Um, our guys did that. I think sometimes we get a little too cute. I think we got to play a little bit more of a direct game at times, um, get pu more pucks to the net and get bodies there. I think just regrouping a little bit here. Um, you know, it's a we got some new players, it's a new staff, so we've had seven games to look at. We can cut, probably look back and see what things we can get better at as a team. Uh, we'll do that as a staff, and we'll start working on those things next week. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Felt pretty good. I was just kind of grateful to be back out there, especially after the injury in Michigan. I wasn't sure how long I was going to be out. So every day I was on the ice this week, I was really fortunate just to be there. And our athletic staff and the trainers did such a great job of getting me back on the ice. So I pretty much give all the credit to them because, you know, they put up with me a bunch this week. Yeah, you know, honestly, it starts with our leaders. You know, they've uh, done a great job taking in the freshmen and, you know, kind of leading the way for us and, you know, letting us do our thing. So, you know, everything that, you know, we've gotten from them, uh, you know, we just use. Yeah, you know, I think I, you know, throughout the, year, throughout the years of hockey, I've kind of gone through ups and downs like that. You know, hockey is a game where you got to stay steady. So, you know, when they're in the box, I kind of tell myself, you know, whether it's a goal or not, I'm going to have to have the same, you know, mindset. You know, there's still a game to be played. And, you know, after it's called, you know, no goal, it's just, it just back to normal. Just play hockey and focus on the next shot. And the game was close all night. So how do you guys kind of keep the faith on the bench when it felt like there's just, like, not a lot of stuff left in the third? Uh, yeah, I, I can start. You know, I know after the second intermission, you know, we all went in the locker room and looked at ourselves and, you know, we, we'd gone five periods and, you know, haven't generated a lot. Their goalie was playing great. Um, and, you know, we kind of said whatever we're doing, you know, isn't working the best. Let's, let's try and do everything we're doing a little bit better. And, you know, credit to the forwards and RD, everyone really stepped up. And, um, you know, we have so many seniors on this team and it's great to see those guys step up as, as well as the freshmen. Um, you know, we said in the locker room, it's going to take everyone and it really did. Yeah, honestly, you know, I think we just stuck to the game plan and like Maso said, you know, trying to improve everything we're doing and, uh, you know, just stick into it. And then, uh, you know, obviously getting shots, shots on the net, you know, we uh, didn't get enough shots in the first two periods. And then the third period, we opened up, you know, lots of chances when we were shooting. Yeah, uh, you know, it's pretty cool when you uh, can you know, get a, get a pass from your brother and, uh, you know, end up putting it in the net. So, you know, it's pretty special for me and uh, pretty special for our family, too. Do you guys keep your focus going into the uh, I think, you know, just back to work, you know, kind of just prepare for our next games, you know, like it's, uh, you know, like they're coming uh, on this bye week. I think everyone in our room knows, you know, how good we can be. And right now we're not there. And we're certainly going to use this week as a week to build, um, you know, build from where we are now and get ready for our next opponent. And, you know, it's definitely not going to be a week that we take off. Um, it's going to be a very important week for us. You know, I think having Vinny is so, is so awesome. Um, he's such a great goalie partner. He's one of my roommates, um, you know, one of my great friends, and, you know, we all support each other. It's always super positive, you know, and not all the times you have that, right? It's, it's a competitive position, and, um, you know, when I got hurt, I, you know, I had so much trust in Vinny. You know, I know everyone does. He's a great kid. He works super hard, and credit to him. He played great, um, you know, when, when he was in, and, um, yeah, really, it's just it's supportive for both of us. You know, we both want to play great. It's, 
Um, obviously, only one goalie can be on the ice, but everything's positive, and I can't say enough good things about Vinny. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks.